Dr. Barry Logan, report to the armory, please. Yes. You were supposed to be here at 7 sharp. I know, Sarah told me I, I couldn't break away. I, I, you know, there's one thing killing a zombie and another capturing one in the wild. Very I hear you. <laughs> very dangerous activity. Yeah? Yes. Let me get rid of my uh, field equipment. We got a wall. We got a grenade. That's good escape material if you get a zombie group after you. That is correct. This equipment is hopelessly inadequate, though. These things have been rotting down here since the Vietnam War. Dr. Barry Logan here. Uh, we've had some uh, requests from our viewers to show some new zombie guns that we've been working on. I've been working on them very diligently within the last two weeks, and uh, I'm going to show you the results. I'm going to show you the results. A lot of people talk about a zombie pistol. We have the Caltech PMR-30, 30. 30 shot magazine, 22 Magnum, weighs next to nothing. You can carry a bunch of these on a zombie safari. Very accurate, very reliable, 30 shots of 22 Magnum. This is the uh, FN-57, made by FN. It comes with three 20 round magazines from the factory. You also can get a 30 round magazine extends the grip, gives you 30 rounds of 5.7. Very uh, accurate gun. Uh, it should pop that little ball of jelly in a zombie's head right nicely. This is the uh, FN PS90 5.7 millimeter. Has a 50 shot magazine on top. It is of a bull pup design. Has a nice telescopic sight built into it. Real short, sweet, nice little gun. If you have an AR-15, you can always put a 5.7 upper on it and shoot 5.7s out of your AR. The PS-90 ejects its rounds from here. So when you convert your AR to a 5.7, your magazine well becomes your ejection port. You don't have a magazine here. 50 shot magazine, same as the PS90. Any AR, you can put this upper on any AR lower that you have. Next, we have the, uh, a, a Colt AR-15 here. A lot of people have been talking about a 22 LR as a perfect zombie weapon because you really don't need a lot of firepower. You need accuracy. So what you can do, you can take your AR-15, and in a matter of seconds, you can convert it to a 22 LR. You pull your 556 five, bolt, drop in your 22 bolt, load your magazine. Now you got a 22. When you run out of 22s or you want to shoot farther away, it's the same reverse procedure. Pull your 22 bolt, drop in your original 556 five, bolt, and in a matter of seconds, you're ready to go back to 556. Five, this is a Colt uh, Sporter that was made in 1988. It's a beautiful little gun, collapsing stock. It's got a heavy H bar barrel, very nice little gun. You know, manufacturing, this is a semi automatic version of the American Arms 180. This magazine holds uh, 275 rounds of 22 LR. Nice little gun. Uh, it's kind of expensive though. It's uh, over $1,500, but it gives you long-term contact weapon here. It's a lot of headshots. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is one of my favorites. Is the GSG 22. This is a first anniversary model, special color, has a 25 shot magazine, but GSG just came out with a 110 shot drum for it. You got 110 shots. That's a zombie chopper if I ever saw one. It's nice, it's lightweight, it's very reliable, a very nice little gun.
you're into handguns, this is the GSG pistol. And it will also take the drum. Zombie popping pistol. A handheld chopper. That's it. That's good for the uh, seat of the car. Now, if you're old school, which Eric likes to talk old school, these are Mosin Nagant rifles in 762 by 54R. Old school bolt action. The beauty of this gun is very powerful. It's accurate enough, and you can arm about 10 men for $1,000 with ammunition and rifles. So if you've got a zombie squad that's on the uh, lower end of the, uh, the uh, economic ladder, they can arm themselves with these and be very well armed. And legged. This is a Mossberg 500 with a Warhammer rail on it. This thing has got rails all over the top on both sides. We've got the uh, pistol grip on the grip here. It's called a Warhammer. 12 gauge, collapsing stock, folding sight. Very nice little gun for zombie chopping. One person was saying that a flare gun and a can of gasoline would be a great zombie uh, combat combination. This is a CZ uh, 26 and a half millimeter flare gun. Very strong action. Barrel is very thick on this gun. What is puzzling, the barrel is very thick and the rear side is graduated to 150 meters. So they're shooting something out of this besides flares uh, in Czechoslovakia. But there's very few of these in the country. These guns are virtually brand new. The bores look like mirrors in them. Uh, brand new. We've got several of these for sale. Are we ready for uh, the uh, zombie Wapa Chapa? Yeah, bring it. But hurry, they're breasting down the door, Barry. One person claimed an M1A would be an ideal zombie weapon. Well, here's a creation we came up with. This is the uh, Zombie Wapa Chopper 308 M1A. It is equipped with a laser sight on one side, flashlight on the other, 25 shot magazine, EOTech sight, and foregrip. Very easy to control. Spot those zombies with this thing right here. Light them up and then light them up. The ultimate zombie weapon right here.